hey guys welcome back to WP Event manager we are back with another video and in today's video we're gonna talk about how we can add new users from our backend using WP Event manager zoom add-on so let's get started so first from dashboard we're gonna select zoom from our left hand sidebar and we're gonna come down here and click add user so in here we have like a lot of actions over here some options to select from I'm gonna go and explain each options like briefly so we have action so we can select like uh, four different actions to create our account and I'm gonna go let's start with create so this is like a standard procedure for zoom user sign up how this works is how you exactly like sign up for zoom you sign up you get an email you verify your email you set your password same thing over here if we select create we enter our email address over here first name last name and if we submit it will go ahead and like send an email notification to the provided email and then user has to verify via the email link and set out set up their password and account so what we have next is auto create this action is provided for like enterprise uh, users who like has a domain uh, integrated so this feature is basically disabled by default because there's a security risk like uh, you don't really want to send notifications to your uh, user which doesn't belong to your enterprise or domain right so let's move on to the custom create one so this option or this action is only provided to the users uh, who has a API plan with zoom otherwise this is gonna be disabled so user created using this action has no password and neither they are able to log in with zoom or the client apps of zoom what is the purpose of these uh, users using custom create these are like used if you're if you're using zoom api to build your like own solutions and you don't want to let users log into zoom's uh, official website or their clients but still able to use your streaming solutions or like meeting solutions on your particular platform this is the way to go so what is acso create this is like basically for like another action for enterprise users uh this action is enabled for like acso users like SSO create is creating a user for your enterprise or organization who will be able to log in via SSO link single sign-on links and they get their like a uh, personalized own vanity URL using username so that's it uh, those out of the way let's see what we have here we're gonna create a basic user over here too so let's go and select let's type our email over here so we have our email address of course the email of the user we're gonna create let's add a first name and we, here we have another uh, drop down which says user type so what is user type we have basic users right this is like free user signed signed up to zoom so this is similar this is exactly the same as zoom's free plan you have a hundred participants per meeting and there will be a cap of 40 minutes per meeting and you cannot create like large meetings or webinars near the conference rooms so there's that and we have licensed user licensed user is like a basically paid user who can host unlimited meetings on the public cloud by default they can host with like hundred participants but there's like licenses available for larger meetings so what is on-prem uh, on-prem is like a user on-prem is user is like a paid account uh, who can like actually host unlimited meetings uh, with the like with like on-prem is user demand right so this is like pay as you go type of plan so we're gonna go ahead and select basic user anyway you can like always read about this uh, over here on more info if you click over here or you can go over here to so let's go ahead and click submit so as we see it says the user has been created so let's go ahead and open zoom in a new tab I'm signed in you might need to sign in for this uh, action right here so we're gonna go to my account 
we're gonna select user management then users switch to this pending tab so as we see we have a new entry over here we just created this entry using our API from our admin panel on WordPress so this user has been notified via email if he goes ahead and follow the email link and then he'll be able to set up his profile using password and stuff so that's pretty much it that's how you create a user using WP event manager zoom add-on from our WordPress backend so what I did next I have added few more accounts from here add users so if you go over here you can add users from zoom's dashboard uh, to this account so I went ahead and invited few more users they have accepted the invitation and created their account with zoom so if we go over here to our WP admin panel and click on zoom users click over here on sync zoom user click OK again and then reload this page so as you can see our zoom users which been created on zoom's dashboard been imported to our zoom add-ons user list so that's a cool thing about this free plugin you can like import your users from the zoom dashboard to here as well so that's pretty much it for this video and i'll catch you in the next one